Hi, I'm Lee Cerny, and uh, we're in Oak Openings of the Metro Parks of the Toledo area. And behind me is a beautiful vernal pool, and we'd like to talk a little bit about fairy shrimp. Fairy shrimp live in these vernal pools. They're uh, a small organism, about two to three inches long, and they're very, very early uh, appearance in the vernal pools. Behind me right now, we're sitting here in uh, December, the pond's frozen over, January, the pond's frozen over, um, even into February, the eggs are sitting there under the ice. In late March, early April, those eggs hatch, and within about two weeks, these organisms grow from this egg stage into about two to three inches long, and they just can be very, very prolific in these pools. You can get thousands of them. It's just swimming gracefully around, there can still be ice in places on the water. Um, they're one of the first organisms to come out in the spring. They're filter feeders. Um, they swim around uh, just gracefully like a little ballet in the water and they're picking up microorganisms, little particulate matter. Fairy shrimp uh, do have predators even though they're early, early in the year. Uh, mostly diving beetles and uh, some of the other insect larvae will feed on the young fairy shrimp. But the biggest threat would be migratory waterfowl and waterfowl because you figure you have a vernal pool sitting there with all these thousands of shrimp which are gracefully swimming around and you get a bunch of ducks or geese coming in and it's a feast for them. Um, the fairy shrimp have strategy to kind of avoid that and not, uh, not just feed the birds. What they do, they come out really early in the year so there aren't very many predators in the pool to begin with and they don't show up every single year. So the birds won't know to come back every year and feed in late March and April because some years there are no shrimp or very, very few shrimp. Um, they have a great strategy for survival. They lay what's called a summer egg and those eggs hatch in late summer and they have a fall population also which makes sure that there's a carryover. Now they also lay a winter egg. The winter egg overwinters and hatches the next spring if conditions are right. If conditions aren't right, those eggs can actually be viable for several years. So there's a great survival strategy going on with these little critters. Now for some reason, and I don't think anybody knows exactly why, they just skip a year and all the eggs just kind of lay dormant and hatch out the next year instead. Another interesting thing is these fernal pools, uh, like the one behind me, dry out in the middle of summer. So these organisms, which are aquatic and fully aquatic, little swimming creatures, um, have to get through that dry period. And what they do, those winter eggs that we talked about, are sometimes called cysts. The females lay between uh, 10 to 150 eggs each. However, the average is probably in the 20s um, that each female lays. Now, those eggs, which make it over the summer and uh, can possibly go several years, uh, viable to keep that population going. The life cycle of a fairy shrimp is very quick. It takes about two weeks for a fairy shrimp to go from the egg stage to the adult breeding stage. And then the males and females, there's a dimorphism between the two, and the males have a set of claspers, uh, which is a secondary antenna. And during the mating cycle, they may spend several days um, where they are clasped together. And then after the mating, the male dies and the female develops an external egg sac where you can actually see the eggs if you can you just look at them in the water swimming and you can see the egg sacs on the females. And then the eggs are laid and they are set for the next year. The first time in my first uh, encounter with fairy shrimp, I was about eight years old and I was out sliding on a farm pond and there was a break in the ice around a, a culvert pipe and I looked down into the water and there were these fantastic alien looking organisms. They have 11 pairs of legs so they got these 22 legs that they use to swim and they're just dancing through the water and I must have spent an hour just looking at these critters down through the ice and they've just been a favorite of mine ever since that first encounter because they're probably one of the most graceful organisms to watch in the water. And they come out so early in the year, they're one of the first things you get to see. 